I think we win. We actually win, right? Kite Larsonist. I don't even have to touch your board. And now I'm just going to sacrifice for Ren. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Gleaming Gear Drake. That's 10 in the air. 10 in the air. Don't care. Captain Storm. Gleaming Gear Drake. Just enough for lethal. Sorry about you, Shelly. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of Mana Man. And today, we got a juicer for you. Before we dig into the deck, make sure to leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this, and it does help with the challenge immensely. I greatly appreciate it. Feel free to join us in the Discord. And before I mention the Discord, shout out to Moonwatcher for kind of giving me the idea of the Captain Storm and all this artifact nonsense. So shout out to you, Moonwatcher. But before we let's go ahead and dive right in here. Okay, so we, what do we got here? Obviously, we've got the pirates. You kind of see that theme here. But why are we running Gleaming Gear Drake? Now, I know Gear Drake, I mean, other than being a big fan of alliteration on the channel, Gleaming Gear Drake, um, well, as you notice, this is an artifact itself. And then when it enters the battlefield, you're going to get another artifact by investigating. So, how can we really bust this up? Well, Landlord Navigator, whenever this attacks, you're going to create a map token. That's nice and everything, but A, it has to attack, which is one toughness, and doesn't really survive a lot of battles. And also, it needs two to get the Thieving Magpie. Getting the Thieving Magpie is really, really good. So how are we going to bust this? The Gleaming Gear Drake is just a, it's, it's just a perfect solution. You just drop it, you get two artifacts. Now, sometimes you can just swing in, but sometimes you can't. So getting that Thieving Magpie is really, really nice. And then, of course, Captain Storm, Cosmium Raider. We absolutely love the Human Pirate. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on any pirate. We have a plethora of different types of artifacts that we have. We've got the Spyglass Siren, Landlord Navigator. We have um, Breaches makes art uh, makes treasures. So there's like we are also running four Breaches. I know this is a legendary creature, but Breaches is so good. and just makes the engine run so well that I think we have to run four Breaches. I do have Brazen Boarding. I don't know if it's Brazen Boarding, Brazen Boarding, whatever it is, but... Dealing four damage to target creature or planeswalker is really nice. I am also running melt through. Melt through can weaken uh, a creature for the brazen boarding. So, because four damage, it's not always big enough to kill things, especially like Shelly and stuff like that. So, the melt through deals two damage, and then they don't recover from it with melt through, and then we can kind of pick them off with the brazen boarding, or we can just go for the Kaisel Larsness to kind of get rid of something forever. I shouldn't say forever, but most of the time they're pretty much stuck in treasure mode. So, I actually, if you notice, I am a huge fan of this card. Um, let's go ahead and put this up here. Thopterus, where is it at? There we go, the important Thopterus. Um, I am not running it. Uh, you probably can. I just have been putting the Thopterus in like almost every deck I've not not every deck, but you know what I'm saying. A lot of the decks I've been making have this card, so I'm just kind of giving it a break. But if you want to make this deck like the most competitive, you probably can just run it. I would just run it, but uh, we're just gonna take a little bit break of the game and we just kind of highlight some more of these other two drops there today. But this is the deck, this is the pirate deck. I think this is pretty much the, the gist. I mean, we're running pirates. And that's what we're doing with the gear drake, with the gear drake. So drake and pirates. So that's pretty much the deck here. Go ahead and join. So, can, can't talk today. Consider joining the channel. That helped me out as a content creator. Consider subscribing if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Lefty Rock. Hello, hello. Okay, well, um, not really the best hand, but it's not the worst hand. I think we'll, we'll rock with it. We'll rock with it. We shall rock with it. Let's see what you got here for me, Lefty Rock. Got some Gix's Command Sleeves, so that's peculiar. And whoa, I was gonna say, that was a little bit of a lag there with the Cavern of Souls. That's a little bit weird. So let's go for Pirate and drop down our Captain Storm, Cosmium Rider. This card is really, really fun, especially with the uh, the Gleaming Gear Drake. Lots of synergy here. Green. Mean Green. Okay, so that is a little scary because obviously Get Lost exists. But you know what? If Get Lost exists, we're going to punish them pretty bad here. Let's swing in. If they get lost, we have the Landlord Navigator, which will be able to get into a free Thieving Magpie. Unfortunately, it does not work out in such a favor, but it's okay. Let's just go ahead and drop... What's up with this lag? Like, that's... Um, I guess they... Oh, well, I guess they could have something here. Before you say, hey, man, oh, man, are you crazy? Look, the, the client... I've had to, like, close out of my client and then, like, restart the client over and over again. I don't know what's going on here, so... Soul Partition... Okay, interesting. I haven't seen Soul Partition be used in a hot second, so Arwen is kind of problematic here. That Indestructible is definitely annoying. It's definitely annoying. Hmm. 
you know what? I think I'm going to be a greedy little freebooter, even though we're not running black or the greedy freebooter. I'm going to go in for the Landlord land Navigator. Just pass the turn. Now, why are we doing this? Because I have the Gleaming Gear Drake. The Gleaming Gear Drake with the Cap Captain Storm and the Landlord Navigator can just go bananas. War 2, we don't like that. Skrell. Okay, so I think we're going to have to take a chill pill on this one. Kite sail, man. Well, this is looking good. This is looking pretty good here. I guess we'll call out blue. Okay, now what do we want to do here? Arwen with the indestructible is definitely a pain. We could go for the bra uh, the brazen boarding on the Skrelv. And then we can get a Corsar Captain. Create a treasure token. I think instead, let's go in, let's go in for the Kite Sail Larsness while we can, while the Skrelv has summoning sickness. And just go in for the Arwen Mortal Queen. And now we're going to go in for the Gleaming Gear Drake. Bang. And now we get two plus one plus one counters. But Captain Storm being pretty uh, stormful. So I think we're going to have to put both of them on the Navigator though. Because I am going to swing in with the Navigator. I want to keep the Navigator nice and alive. So we're going to go for the double Navigator here. I'm not going to swing with the... Should I swing with Captain? This is pretty cheeky. This is pretty cheeky here. Do they just block? I don't know what I don't know what this is really. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it here. Oh yeah, but, duh, I forgot. Oh, that was that was so dumb of me. I forgot that we get um, a map token when we swing in. That was that was so dumb of me. Nevertheless, we do get a thieving magpie. I don't know why I was even like questioning that, but uh, it's been a while. I'm, this is my first time playing with Captain Storm, so if you're watching that, I, I hope that your cringe and your um your cringe has gone away because um it ended up, it ended up fine, so it's fine. Lush Portico. All right, let's see what you got here. I have no, I genuinely do not really have a clue what this could be. What is this? All right, they're passing either way. We get another Captain Storm. I think we're gonna go for it, man. Let's go for Breads and Boarding on the Skrelv. Now the Skrelv cannot protect itself. So Breads and Boarding, walk the plank, matey. Let's go, shiver me timbers. This little Skrelv has been a naughty little mite. Oh, Reprieve. Oh, come on, Reprieve. That was so anticlimactic. All right, well, they got 11 life. I guess we're going to go in for the map token. I guess we you know, might as well put it on the Larcenist. They can't really do a whole lot here, man. Glimming Gear Jack's going to get a plus one, plus one. Mm, is there anything we can really do? We got Ward 1. They can't do any, like, Arwen... Melt through. I think we'll keep melt through. I think we will. And I might as well just swing all. Landlord Navigator. Captain Storm. I guess we'll go for Larsness, man. What can they really do? A get lost makes the Captain Storm go off. I guess they could go for another soul partition. Which actually would be pretty bad, actually. Oh, that actually would be pretty bad. Because they could pay the ward there if they want to blow up the Arwen. Not on my watch. Well, they do have to pay with the Moral Queen. So we actually, it's not that big of a deal. I think we can live with that. 11 life. This is a clue token, not a treasure. Down to one. All right, can they really kill me? I mean, I have a melt through. Like, even if they had a sunfall. Even if they had a sunfall, I can just melt through to finish off the game, so... I think we're looking pretty good, but again, I don't know what this is. They have some sort of crazy life gain or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see here in a second. A lot of removal. This can give a lifelink to two creatures, though. So that is kind of what I'm nervous about. The Mortal Queen. This card is so good. And they give it up. There we go. Captain, let's go. STP, hello, hello. We'll go ahead and keep this. Looks like a pretty solid hand. I am on the draw here. So, I mean, Captain Storm with the Gear Drake with the Landlord Navigator. This could get a little, get a little, a little good. This could get a little good. Now we got our breaches. I think the plan's all coming together. Well, let's go in for red. Potentially could melt through. I don't really want to melt through the greedy freebooter. Well, you're a pirate. You're a pirate. So, what are you not doing on my ship, matey? I guess, you know what, maybe maybe the Greedy Freebooter felt kind of like betrayed because we actually are running a Drake, not a pirate. So I guess technically we're not really pirate tribals, but 
doesn't really fit the combo very well. Battlefly Swarm, what the hell? Usually I see, I have seen this before, but usually it's in, um, like, Phyrexian Tribal, like a Phyrexian Aggro Tribal, so I have seen this card before, but I don't know what's going on here. It seems to be Orzov, you got a Freebooter, you got this thing. Okay, I think, you know what, I might just melt through this thing. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just get rid of it. Alright, Shoe Fly, don't bother me. Okie dokie. I think we'll just do this. Nothing too crazy yet. I think I'm just gonna go in for the Landlord Navigator. This thing, this card is the most important card to get rid of its summoning sickness. Like, you have to play this thing and then so you can attack and get the extra map tokens. But even if we don't, now we got Captain Storm. The only thing is gonna be do what do we want to do on turn three? By the looks of the colors, Orzov has a ton of spot removal. I'm definitely not blocking. So the greedy freebooter, you just come on, just come on. The, the, the gold's right past me. Because I'm definitely not blocking no way. Alright. Most likely, I think we just go for ooh, another freebooter. Ooh. Alright, I'm definitely not blocking you, no way. Shiver me timbers, bucko. Alright, buckaroo, you got freebooters. This one toughness can be problematic, so maybe we should just go for Captain Storm. Mm, now a Restless Fire. Okay, so here's the thing. 99% of the time, it's just better just to drop a Breaches. I'm like 90% sure that they have a... A Reprieve anyway. Let's go for you. I know we're, we're going to commit to this instead. And I'm just going to go in for the Gleaming Gear Drake. If they have Reprieve... We just, we just bounce it. It's not the greatest thing, but it just is what it is. But if the Gleaming Gear Drake, big fan of alliteration on the channel, if Gleaming Gear Drake can resolve, we're going to get a free Thieving Magpie. And that feels pretty good, because a lot of times with Landlord Navigator, I play decks without the Gleaming Gear Drake, and we get it. We get it unless they have some sort of spot removal. Uh, it appears they do, which is unfortunate, and they're kind of taking their sweet time about it, which is a little, a little salt in the wound, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, if they're gonna leave the Gear Drake, I mean, the Gear Drake, whenever we sacrifice an artifact, we do get some cool stuff, so. Come right this way, not worried about that. Let's do this, we're gonna call out Pirate, of course, even though this is a Drake, but it's okay. And now, the clue. Let's go in for Captain Storm. Let's go in for Captain Storm now. We cannot be oh, I was gonna say we can't be countered, but we have to watch out for reprieve. But that went through like butter, so no problem there. I think we're gonna go in for the Gleaming Gear Drake now, and we only have one pirate, which is Captain Storm, so that's okay. We'll just go ahead and buff it up, and that's gonna be a uh, two plus two plus one plus one counters on the storm. All right. So now we gotta make it this now. Let's just let's just kind of get through this turn first, because I still don't know exactly what we're playing. Karn Silex, no way. Okay, destroy each non-land permanent value, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's a problem. One, two, three, four. That's a huge problem. Well, actually, no, 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 I'm sorry. Kitesail Larsis actually takes care of that, so that's not a problem. Okay, cool. All right, that's, oh, we are actually looking pretty dynamite here. Kitesail Larsis. Kitesail Larsis, we're going to put this on a clue, and we're going to make the Silex... And, uh, a treasure so make this okay and now we're going to sacrifice our treasure for the breaches captain storm is going to go bananas bang and now that this is swinging in i can make the greedy freebooter not be able to block oh that is going to be very very nice target creature can't block let's go ahead and just do bang 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 down to 10. all right even if they do get rid of kite sail larcenist to bring this back it's going to be a little bit too slow so we don't have to worry about the silex for right now all right, we're out, of, we're out of a hand. No more hands. So, this is kind of crunch time here. Captain Storm, doing your thing. We got our gleaming, gleaming Gear Drake. Big fan of alliteration on the channel. Um, the clue token can kind of buff up these Gear Drakes into 3-3s, three which is pretty nice. We got the Larcenist in the air. 
I would assume they don't run Sunfall if they're running creatures like this. That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Especially with um, death triggers here, so. Shelly makes a little bit more sense. But we can handle a Shelly more than a Sunfall, so maybe not the end of the world here. Mm, man, what do we do here? Draw. That is of no help, unfortunately. I'm going to do this. We're at 13 life. I know that we obviously get bonked by the Shelly here, but I got to get these uh, gear drinks up here. Another Larceness. Okay, that is phenomenal. Do we win now is the question. I don't know if we do or not. Blue. So, hold on. I think we win. We actually win, right? So... Kite Sail Larcenist, we're going to make the Shelly maybe? Or maybe, actually, hold on. Let's actually not touch the Shelly, just in case the two treasure tokens give them an instant. Because if I just go on the breaches, sacrifice it, this is whenever we sacrifice an artifact. I don't even have to touch your board. And now I'm just gonna sacrifice it for red. Whatever, doesn't matter. Gleaming Gear Drake, baby. And now, that's 10 in the air, 10 in the air, don't care. Captain Storm, Gleaming Gear Drake, just enough for lethal. Sorry about you, Shelly, and greedy freebooter, man. You know what? You switched the wrong side, you should've stuck with us. Leoink, Leoink, how you doing here? All right, so two tap lands is a little rough on the draw, and we don't have a spyglass on here. I think we're gonna have, man. All right, we'll keep it. It's close. So I think just the smelt through saved ourselves, but Rubble Belt Maverick. Okay, typically uh, this just means Insidious Roots, which is fine. We know how to beat Insidious Roots, even though it can be challenging. I'm going to do this. And hopefully I'm searching for a non-tap land. And a Breaches, we're going to go and get rid of you. We already got a Breaches. We got a Breaches right here. Got a Brazen Boarding. Let's see if this will be useful in this matchup here. Don't tell me they miss. Oh, they miss a land drop. Ooh. I am so sorry about you, my friend. Let's go and drop you. Um, see, a lot of times we hold this negate. As long as we can negate at least one. Let's actually do this. I'm not really comfortable going for a melt through. I don't think it's necessary either. So, breaches? I think we'll get rid of you. Sorry, breaches. We got rid of uh, two breaches already, but... And that's it. That's it. That's how good pirates are. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, you know, yeah, it is what it is. X, hello, hello, we'll go ahead and keep this looking phenomenal. Breaches is just so wonderful. Hopefully we can get into a Captain Storm to really start. Well, well, well. Arg me bucko, that is a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give Axe the friendly mulligan hello. Everybody needs and deserves a friend when you take a mulligan. So let's go ahead and get our little Spyglass Siren on here and ahoy, baby. Let's see what we got here. Ahoy, Axe, Axe, Axe. We got the same color sleeves here. So what's going on here? This is going to be Insidious Roots. All right, so Insidious Roots is pretty dangerous. Uh, we don't have a whole lot to really deal with them, unfortunately. And I'm a little confused. Why do they put the Insidious Roots away? Why do they put it away? What you, what you got up your sleeve here? Swing in. I'm going to drop this. See, I mean, typically I would kind of like to hope them to gate. I think we can give them Insidious Roots. I don't want to give them... How did they put away the Insidious Roots? That makes no sense. I'm just confused. Okay. I'm just... That makes no sense. W wouldn't you want the Insidious Roots? To block me from swinging? I'm gonna do something really weird here. I'm gonna go for the, the list. Let's see if we can get another buff. I think we're gonna like this now, because now they can jump block here or we can swing in. But either way, now I can swing in with the Navigator. I know I could have just dropped the Breaches. Typically, Breaches is pretty good, but I think this is fine. I think this is fine. It might seem a little insane, and it, and it is. But now I'm telling you, the way that they win is they get Tyvar or Insidious Roots. So as long as you can just block one of those two out, I guess I stand corrected. That's so crazy. Like, I figured maybe they had, like, two more, like, three Insidious Roots in their hand. Because that makes no sense that they would have got rid of it. So I was... Yeah, I look I look very silly right now. But they, they kind of do, too. Why do they do that? All right, I guess I can't ponder upon it forever. Let's go, just go in for Breaches. Feels pretty simple. 
swing in, and I'm gonna create a treasure token. Because again, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. We gotta have enough of this negate. I'm so nervous about Insidious Roots or Tybar. I don't wanna see those things. Okay, well, we have see that's the old, that's the downside about negate versus the other counter spells. Um, obviously, we're not gonna be able to do anything about this uh, crawler here, but um, fortunately, we do have a, a kite sail larcenist, so we're not gonna too, be too worried about this. Yeah, especially they can use it as a treasure token, but do we care that much? Not as much. So let's go and drop our kite sail larcenist. Thank goodness. I want to drop the map token. I think we are not going to. No, we're going to. I, I lied. I'm a liar. All right, now let's swing in. We get two instances of the breaches. Swing in. And I don't want to... Let's actually make... Uh, You can't block. So I don't want you to chump block and then you can bring, come back. No, no, no. We ain't doing that. I think we're probably just going to play it safe. Maybe we don't play it safe. Maybe we just create a treasure token. Bang. Bang. Siren. And now we got three treasure tokens. That feels okay. And a map token. And because we got three treasure tokens here, I think we're good to go. Let's go at least one map token here. Yep, that's fine. And we can still hold up this dreaded, not dreaded, Larcenist. Yeah, we'll keep it. I mean, it flies, you know, why not? All right, I think we're looking pretty good here. Two treasure tokens, they've got to have it. If, I'm telling you, this deck, I played in a lot of Insidious Roots. I played it in Explorer. I've played it in Alchemy, I've played it in Standard, and I'm telling you, they can't win without it. They cannot win without the Insidious Roots, so let's go ahead and negate this. Hopefully they don't have a number two. But bam Hopefully they don't have a- well, actually it'd be number three, wouldn't it? Soul Cauldron, how bad is this? Um, Haywire Might. I mean, we're kind of all out of gas. No hand. But Breaches can make treasure tokens and we can exile the top card of our library. How bad is the Soul Cauldron? I don't think we're really in that big of trouble, are we? Alright, looking good. They have one treasure token here and they got the Cauldron that they can kind of, um, you know, do whatever they want here. But uh, what do they got going on? What you up to here? Um, they didn't need the green for this, so... Oh, okay, okay, I see what they're doing now. So, for they can descend eight now. Right, 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 right. I've played this deck before. <laughs> Alright, so Haywire Might, but that, eh, that's not really that good. And plus that with the Cauldron, I can just go in for the Kite Sail Larceness, and this can actually target artifacts as well. So, I'm just gonna do exactly that while it's tapped out. No more funny games, no more nothing. Let's go ahead and just get you. Boop. So now, but technically it still exists, right? No, it still exists, but they lose their abilities. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. And now, let's swing in and make the Maverick not be able to block here. You can't block. You get to exile. Let's see if we can grab something in a treasure tre tre token. This feels, I mean, this feels, <laughs> Breaches feels pretty broken. Urgh, me bucko. Feeling very piratey. Um... Hopefully we're getting ready for Thunder Junction, so we're kind of we're kind of going into pirates right now at least. Feeling very Ixalani, and then now we're going to go into Thunder Junction with the Cowboys. Can't wait! It should be fun. But I don't know. I feel like we're doing relatively okay. Oh, baby, mm, a perforator crocodile! Oh my god, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and give him a nice, that is wildly scary. Okay, so we get, we're gonna get a stab wound on all of these, and we're gonna, oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, you're swinging in with you, I could animate the rest of Spire, but then we just trade, it only has first strike on my turn. I think we're gonna say no, yeah, no. Wait, well, should I have chump blocked? Oh, I should have chump blocked. Okay, yeah, definitely should have chump blocked here. Now we're gonna take these stab wounds. Ooh, my stab wounds, and we get another island here. Oh my god, can, we can still attack with these though. So I guess that it, there's something kind of nice about this. So I'm gonna have to go for Rust of Spire, 100%. Hey, the one. Okay, that's fine. 
This is risky. I'm, I'm going to swing in, but hopefully we can dig out the rest of fire. I think we're going to have to just be aggro here. This is very, very risky, but um, that's fine. So let's go ahead and uh, you can't block. Um, treasure token, and I am stupid because I could, I should have done this beforehand. We get the scry, melt through. I guess do we even need this? No, so we'll get rid of the melt through, but we should have used the melt through before this. I got the timing wrong there. So that is not good. And now we got the perforator crocodile in you. So we got one more turn to kind of make use of this. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so bad. The perforator crocodile was just really good, but um, misordering the breaches thing there, that's that's pretty common sense. Down to two, stab wounds, man. They're just gonna take it for us. Um, there's insidious roots. Yeah, this crocodile, man. Hey, I guess when you're a pirate, I guess when you're pirates, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Crocodiles are lurking. Let's go ahead and give them a good game. We're going to die to these stab wounds here. Man, these stab wounds. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to feel, but that's a really cool card, man. I can't even be upset. Perforator crocodile, wickedly cool card. So I noticed the microphone on the next match is not set to the correct setting, so I might sound a little hollow, but just ignore that. It's only for this match. Herota, herota, hello, hello. All right, so the time of recording, it is the 3rd of April. So sometimes I notice, in, obviously, in Alchemy, obviously a lot less people are playing Alchemy. Not about a lot, I think a lot less, anyway. I don't know the numbers, but assuming Alchemy is less popular than Standard. We got uh, me and Diamond. We're going against a Platinum player, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, so what do we want to do here? I think we're just going to get down the Landlord Navigator. As soon as you can get the Landlord Navigator alleviated from Summoning Sickness, that is going to be pretty much the best case scenario. Because now we're going to go in for Captain Storm. Oh, we got double Captain Storm, but that's okay. All right, that actually is okay, because let's go in for the Captain Storm. And now, with Captain Storm, when we swing into the Navigator, we're going to go ahead and put a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, yeah, look at that. The fun is just beginning. We don't get our little thieving magpie just yet, but we will. We will. So let's go ahead and use the map token on the Captain Storm. Spread out the counters here a little bit, and we're looking phenomenal. All right, we do run counter magic. I am running negate just because, like, um, you know, we don't have make disappear in good old alchemy. Another cat. I'm running three captains, so drawing three of them obviously not really the greatest thing here, but that's okay. Um, I do want to hold in the gate a little bit. Obviously, a Sunfall. If they're running Market Gnome, are they running Sunfall? Hmm. Well, I think the only move we have is a really just attack. Landlord Navigator, Captain Storm. Let's go ahead and uh, put this on Storm. And yeah, I think we'll just give him it. If they want to do this, it's fine. If they want to block the Market Gnome, obviously. That's interesting. All right. I'll take you down to 11. I'll take you down to 11. No problem. So now, I'm, uh, I mean, unless they're running like no witnesses, that's the only problem I'm seeing here. So I think instead of just going, let's not get greedy. Let's not get greedy. Let's hold the negate instead of the crewmate. Because they might go for the no witnesses if they have this. Oh, well, this is the mayor. I guess we'll, um, we'll still negate this, right? I think we're still going to. Again, I don't know what they're going to draw from the Beseech, but could be a no. Yeah, let's just not take any risks here. So, Map token on the Navigator. And do we have Lethal here? Hold on. Uh, I, don't think we, I don't think so, right? Three, five, eight, ten, twelve. Is this real? Is this real? Is this just lethal? Okay, there's the power of pirates. Okay, Landlord Navigator, Captain Storm. We're going to storm off with Captain Storm. Doesn't really matter. They're nice and tapped out in Captain Storm. Melt through. We'll keep the melt through just in case they were to do something here. But bang, bang, bang. Just enough. Captain Storm pulling some serious tides in the ocean. Rick, WJ. Hello. I can say it for anything, Rick. Double tap lands on the draw, man. Uh, I'm going to keep it. It is close, though. It is close. Spyglass Siren. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to commit to the Thundering Falls. Maybe we can snag another one. Um, negate. Hold on. Restless Vine Stalk. If I know anything, there's a good chance... We already have a negate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. Because there's a chance that this is Merfolk. So if we play against Merfolk, we don't want counters. Oh, Rona. Definitely not going to be against that. So that's interesting. 
Okay. I guess we'll just go in for the Landlord Navigator. We can set up a Spyglass Siren map, kind of bump this up and swing in. I know the three toughness is obviously a problem, but... Now that I know we're playing against probably Reanimation, I mean, Negate is actually like the best thing here, but fortunately we do have another Negate, because I'm assuming Squirming Emergence is going to be the play here. But we got one. We got one Negate, so... Maybe they're extra not expecting it now. Uh, all right. I'll tell you what. Let's go in for the Thundering Falls. Gleaming Gear Drake. We do like that. We do like that. I'm going to keep this on top. And now I'm going to go in for a Spyglass Siren. The plan, which, you know, not exactly bulletproof, but I'm going to go in for the map token on this Navigator. The only, I mean, what can they really have in these colors? I guess they could just bounce it back. Um, there's like paths of like Toon Veil, I think. But either way, I'm going to swing in here. Now that we got the three power, we kind of set ourselves up here. Now the Rona can't block us out. Okay, feeling pretty good about that. Thiefy Magpie. Whew, all right. Draw a card with a discard card. Hopefully we can do our own drawing with the Thiefy Magpie. That was pretty risky. Oh, there's the Atraxa. All right. I don't think they can... Well, they, obviously they can't go for like Squirming Emergence or anything like that. So, Picklock Prankster. Okay, we got to be... Um, Man, you know what? Next turn, I don't think we even have the um, the luxury of waiting. We're going to have to hold up this negate because we cannot let them just Swarming Emergence. We can't let them do that, so. Prankster. I don't love the Prankster. That's a problem because of the three toughness, obviously. And so is this Vermin. So, gosh, you are being pretty annoying, aren't you? Hmm, that bites. Because now our Thiefy Magpie is kind of like, I don't want to say dead, but like, he's not alive. I gotta hold this negate. How many, how many, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So they can't go for a Traxa yet. So I think we're, we're going to try and do this. Let's go in for the map token. On the Navigator, because I want to swing with Navigator. I'd say a Larcenous. I guess this could be okay versus Atraxa itself. It actually is, but I think we're just after land right now. It's a little risky. I think we're going to try. Let's go for the Spyglass Siren. All right. Try it again. I'm putting it specifically on, a, on the Navigator because I want to get this map token. Captain Storm is good, but we're just after land. We're getting a little... I don't see... Yeah, three land and 14 cards. That's not terrible, but still gonna swing in here for sure. I'm swinging in with the sub by glass siren because if they want to take the prankster and block the siren, that is okay with me because then that means the thieving magpie goes in and we draw a card, so that's fine. Because I'm assuming the, the gnawing vermin is gonna kill one of these sirens anyway if they want to block with this thing, which is unfortunate. So even if they do double block. I mean, I guess, man, that's actually kind of scary. I didn't even realize this, but one, two, three, four, five. They could have, if they double block, that's actually pretty scary here. We do get another Thieving Magpie, which is wonderful. But they could have gone in for Squirming Emergence then, right? Or maybe they can now? Oh my god, no way. Okay. Maybe. Oh, we deserve it. I think I deserve it. Because at once, yeah, this is just going to be enough. Seven, right? So they could go in for a Traxa. Oh, I deserve this. If they reanimate it with Squirming Emergence here. Oh, I'll feel so stupid. There's another Atraxa. Okay, okay. Like I said, though, we're still not out of the woods. But that is a, definitely a load off the old mind there. So now we will not make that same mistake. We're definitely not making that same mistake here. We're going to have to hold these negates with our lives. Six toughness, huh? That's quite big. It's quite big. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we just kill them like death by magpie. At this point, we do have the gleaming gear drake. So those will bounce, and then we'll get some draws from the Thieving Magpie, which is nice. 
More land, which of course is nice. Um, <laughs> like I said, we have to hold in the gate. We just have to. So I'm gonna go in for the Gleaming Gear Drake. The Gleaming Gear Drake will activate the Landlord Navigator. It is tempting though, isn't it? Oh, it is tempting. It is tempting, but ultimately I'm gonna say no. I think three magpies is fine. We'll hold this negate for a potential squirming emergence. Whale of the Forgotten, huh? Ta return target island permanent, blah blah. Target opponent discards a card. Look at the top three. Man, do I negate this? I think we're gonna have to let them have it. It's not great. Give him a staunch I think we have enough fuel. We don't have to find our crewmates. We don't have to find the um our partners in the ocean here. I think we're pretty good with what we got. I we're, we're gonna have to save the negate for the squirming emergence very, very specifically. I am not willing to do that. And this is fine. This is fine. I think we can just go in for the clue token, which is a nice contingency plan. Gleaming Gear Drake will go up. Another Gleaming Gear Drake, which is nice. And a Spyglass Siren. Well, shiver me timbers. Um, I think the only thing we can really do right now is just swing in. Well, maybe we're gonna get this Gear Drake going. Let's put this on the Siren. Just so that ge the Gleaming Gear Drake cannot become blocked. Effectively. More land, which is fine. At this point, we'll just go ahead and do this. It's fine. Blue. And I'm gonna swing in. I'm swinging. In. I got 20 life here. All my stuff flies. All my stuff flies, my friend. They're just gonna bounce. That's fine. We're gonna get a lot of card draw out of this. So I guess really what I would really kind of like to see with these two draws, maybe another spyglass siren, just because it's a one drop. Storm land. Well, I got a hold in the gate. And the gate has to be held up. We know that. So I think the answer is just another Gear Drake. Gleaming Gear Drake. And just end the turn. I am not letting you get this Atraxa. No, 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 no. Absolutely no way. I think I might just give her the land. Silverback Elder. All right. Yeah, I don't think it really matters here. Maybe just a, a crewmate. Nah, we'll just do a mountain. We're fine. I don't think it's going to come into play here, so... I know that they're going in for a Swarming Emergence. That's pretty much what they got going on. As long as we have this, we got a pretty nice board. This board is pretty good. Virtue of Persistence. Well, you know what? If I just Clue Token here, they don't have enough for Swarming Emergence. I'm going to do it. Now we get to keep the Gleaming Gear Drake, right? If they have another untapped land and the if, like, if I'll feel so stupid, they'll they'll deserve the win. If this is an untapped land and this is a squirming emergence, I will just like, hey, you 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 got it. But fortunately, it does not. I don't even know if they dropped their land anyway. Oh well. Hmm. I mean, six damage isn't fun, but I think we can take this. Alright, gear, Gleaming Gear Drake back up online. We'd love to see it. We'll just go for red. Screw it. Let's, like, diversify the colors a little bit. You know, let's have a little fun. Alright, so let's see if you block, block. I don't think we have enough for, like, lethal or anything. And plus, this is a bird, and this is a drake. So this is the only pirate we really have. So maybe... Maybe we go in for... They just give it up. Wow. I mean, like I said, I wasn't trying to slow roll them or anything, but um, a, vi a victory is a victory. So, good game. Thy God. Oh, my thy God. Hello. All right. Let's see what we got here. Mountain and a Monastery Swiss Spear. Really? What is why I'm glad I'm running Melt through in my decks here. So, let's go ahead and... I'm not going to go for Shivan Reef. I want to not pay for this mighty melt through and we're going to go on melt through this buster that feels pretty good nice clean efficient we're just gonna get rid of you before we can uh do anything crazy here so hopefully they uh well we know mono red's not gonna lack firepower but i was gonna say hopefully we kind of slow down your firepower here so hydrotechnic performer mm, how much how bad is that i don't think it's that bad right i guess we'll go in for pirates landlord navigator 
most likely this thing's just gonna get burned so i'm actually gonna do something crazy here we're gonna go for spyglass siren and i'm actually just gonna use the map token here i think this is a little bit better spyglass siren again i think we're gonna have to be a little bit more picky i'm gonna say no but the reason why i like this is because even if we were to draw into a land like we're gonna need more answers anyway <laughs> invasion of tarker so Whatever we play down was gonna get burned, so it is what it is. But. And they can actually, oh my god, they're gonna be able to just uh, get a dragon. They're gonna, get, uh, yeah, they're gonna get a free dragon. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay. Defiant, Thunder Maw. Right, you're pretty defiant there, buddy. Right, well, we have really no other option here. You know what? Well, hold on. We actually have a Gleaming Gear Drake at this point. See, so this is not often, but I think I'm gonna go with Drake. Just so that I can get another form of. Um, yeah, it doesn't come up a whole lot, but I think we want to alleviate as much as we can. So let's go for the Kite Seal Larsis. We're going to have to put this thing on ice. I mean, we're going to have to. Obviously, they can just get rid of the Larsis with like a Lightning Strike, maybe, because we have Ward 1. But if they do, I think we just kind of like shrug and just say, hey, it is what it is. But we cannot let this Defiant Thunder Maul just live. No, thank you. I think, um, let's see here. I think definitely a Lightning Strike would be pretty much over i think it's looking they're, they're they're sizing my larceness up melt through okay well we gotta pay the war here oh no okay tectonic hazard i was about to say they didn't okay well the game's definitely over i was about to say they didn't even have to um target it with the war because i was about to say how did they get the ward one um Okay, so the game, I mean, the game has to really be over. I guess we'll play it out, I guess, but um, investigate. We'll go for the Landlord Navigator. I mean, the Gear Drake and the Landlord Navigator, yeah, nice little combo here. But with this Thunder Maw, I mean, there's just really just nothing else we can do here. We're going to have to, like, chump block, six life. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play it out. We'll play it out. We're just going to show off how um, devastating that, man, that was really good, though. The Tectonic Hazard. They didn't, I was going to say, because they only had a treasure token and that left. So I was going to say, like, how do you get past the ward and keep the Thunderball? This is the only card. It's the only card that really could have done it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and clank him up here. Um, yeah, Mono Red, definitely, I don't know, man. That Tectonic Hazard just, you know, it was one of the day. Props to you.